and let's uh, there are many more input methods so let's take uh, take something as uh, submit to get a submit one input type as submit uh, let's see it does it displays you can see there's a button to submit um, we can take more things something like uh, check boxes let's take a checks box here okay, uh, let's take a checks box check box and I'll make it as check box um, okay, I'll clear the value and you can see there are check boxes if you want you can do those things uh, let's get a label in front of that uh, and it is for size um, let's take it as a t-shirt size and let's make a T dash size. It's better, I think. And um, you can get sizes here. T shirt size label. And you can see T shirt size label, and you can put tick on that as a checkbox so these are the types that you can get inputs and let's see some more input methods I'm covering it somewhat faster here because uh, no need of doing all the things you can check by your own and you can take input that's inputs as this the dates so let's make the breakout and Let's see how the date input is taken. You have seen this one. You can take it as a calendar and select. You can select the year. You can select the year easily. And you can select the month, date, and all the things. Input as a date. And also you can take the input as a time you can take it as a time here you can select the time here this is an input type in the form you have seen these kind of input uh, these kind of forms many more in your uh, Google Forms and those type of things. You can take the input type as math, uh, months and also you can take the input types as images also. You can take those things as images. You can see. You can see. Because of this uh, submit. Okay. You can take this as an image. And you can try a lot of things and you can uh, make a button to submit button to submit the form uh, let's take it as the type as uh, submit type as submit and name is submit I have created an input type as submit earlier and I will create and I go with the button to submit you can see uh, after entering these all things you can get a submit button this is actually the image input which is displayed in this position right. 
so these are the input types we can get as a form and there are many many input many more inputs you can try those things you see uh, if I show you you can take as buttons checkbox colors date date time date time location email file hidden files images months and numbers lot of input types you can try it with your own and get the hand-on experience with HTML so after this after closing the form I'll end the form up to now and let's see how to link our web page and redirect it to another web page so I'll make another HR tag here and copy this one and paste it here and after that I'll go with the a tag so by this we can get into actually we can redirect into a another web page by that I'll first I'll take a web page as a going to YouTube and get this link YouTube link HTTP YouTube link and I'll paste it in href position and after that I can type here as a redirect to YouTube I'll make br tag here and then let's see you can see redirect to YouTube it is a link and I can click on it once I click on it the page disappears and it redirect me into YouTube but I need this redirection in a new tab how can I get it it is also a simple task you have to get into this a tag and get the keyword target and you can use the target as black and now I save this get into my web page and click on redirect to YouTube now you can see a separate tab has been created to redirect into YouTube you can see it's a right tab with the target is blank the redirection is done in a new tab okay after that let's see how to add an image into a HTML file we can done by IMG tag easily you can select the source here and just I'll select this one as IMG the alt and I'll select the source as uh, icon 1 PNG what which I have used as the icon so let's see what is the result here uh, you can see this is the image that I used in the icon this one is displayed in here then as the final tag of our crash course I'll use a tag course called mark you this tag is used for some dynamic actually for some motions dynamic motions so I'll get the direction from right and I'll uh, type here what must I move I'll move up to something like uh, I'll take it as a hello hello is enough so I'll save it and see 
I can't see yeah. here you can see hello is moving from left to right so I can change the background color and get more get it more highlighted I'll change the background color BG color into red and let's see now you can see it is highlighted and hello is moving from left to right I can change the direction left and save and you can see it is moving from right to left and I can change the direction from top and save it now you can see now you can see it is moving upside also I can use down and now it will move downside hello okay uh, these are the things that uh, I can use and also I can control the scroll time I'll select as it has scroll amount and I will give it as uh, 10 and also I can give ok let's see first this is scroll time as 10 and if you use 100 ok I'll change the direction to right we can clearly observe the differences here it is moving and if I used it as 1 you can see it is moving if I use it as 100 try to identify the differences ok then we can use another loop keyword how many times this loop must run I'll select it as 2 and save it oh this is the first loop let's see how many times it will continuously run the loop and starts again this is the second loop it is still running and it ends you can see we can control the time of loops it is running so these are the things that I going to talk in my HTML crash course if I miss something put those things in the comment section if you need something to clarify please use the comment section feel free to contact me through your comment section and if you see our crash course is good and it is useful please share this video subscribe our channel and thumb up for our video thank you very much let's meet soon again bye bye